It's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 15th. So this is for January 15th for whoever it resonates with. I don't know who. It may not be you. It may or may. Whatever it is, it is, right? We're going to get one of these, then we're going to use that deck right there. What do we got for January 15th? Imagination. I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. Use your imagination. January 15th. What do we have for January 15th? What do we have for January 15th? You may be uh, coming up with a new idea. You know, all of a sudden you get this epiphany, this thought that leads you down a new path someplace you've never been right I mean that's where your imagination leads you <laughs> look at all these pentacles reversed the first three cards insecurity Lack of focus. Little things are a little chaotic. Unbalanced. <laughs> Interesting. Well, wow, King of Wands reverse. Let's change it up a little bit and get a little fire energy in here. Or lack thereof. Ooh, the tower. Avoiding. It's reverse. Somebody is avoiding. Somebody is trying to avoid a disaster or trying to avoid upheaval. But it's imminent. It's going to break down, whatever it is. It's, it's going to break down. Somebody doesn't have any backbone to follow their imagination. <laughs> Unable to accept change. Fear can't take that next step, can't take that power, can't use their power, doesn't know how to use their power. Interesting. Mmm. Wow. Ooh. A hermit. It's time to refocus. It's time to replan. now we have lightning twice so there's gonna be like a jolt somebody is gonna probably be like jolted awake 
Somebody is going to get a new idea, a new a new idea, a new thought. It's going to come instant. It's going to be like an instant jolt of creativity, okay? About, and it's going to make them see, it's gonna, okay? Because without that light, it's dark. All of a sudden, the lightning comes and it lights up his lamp and it illuminates what's available what he hasn't seen it's showing him something so somebody is going to see the light and it could happen instantly all of a sudden you know you're asleep or something or you're doing your job because it could happen when you're at work or whatever you know all of a sudden and then all of a sudden you get this <laughs> new idea It's a wake-up call, right? But, I mean, we have a lot of reversals here. We have ten cards. And only two of them up, and, are, and only two of them are upright. So there's an absence of security. It's like insecurities. My own insecurities, your inner insecurities, your insecurities about following your creativity or holding you back, right? You're insecure. I mean, that's what this is. And pentacles are about security, and we have quite a bit of pentacles here. Somebody is not seeing things clearly about, well, maybe maybe they are insecure. Maybe they, you know, that's something they need to work on. But this is ungrounded, unrealistic. Somebody is seeing the light about love. Here's the Knight of Cups reversed. Maybe they're seeing the light about something that they threw away. I mean, this cup is upside down. They threw it away, whatever. Maybe they're seeing the light. Or they are deciding that they don't want to be alone anymore and they want to open their heart. After they've been protecting themselves for quite some time. Not wanting disaster. Not wanting to build anything for fear of disaster. Right? Somebody has been... Really in a lonely space. You know, really, really lonely dealing with some sort of pain that has stolen their ability to put effort into finding a stable relationship, you know? The pain, this is pain, the pain that they have endured has not allowed them to use their imagination, hasn't, used, hasn't allowed them to start anything new, has stolen their playfulness, has stolen their... Uh, desi desire to broaden their horizons. The pain has hindered them from being optimistic. Okay? It's like the, their optimism for a relationship has died. So now it's like it's time to Stop burying yourself in your work. Somebody has been burying themselves in their work and not focusing on love to bury the pain, right? Kind of like a robot, you know? I'm just a robot, acting like a robot. My heart doesn't matter. It's not about my heart. I'm going to bury my myself and my work, my job, my money, my home, everything but love to just, you know protect myself from getting myself into any false scenarios, right? But it's like there's an opportunity, you know, it's like now I think that somebody realizes they've been awakened that, you know, I do want love. I do want love. He's looking at this Knight of Cups reverse. I, I do want a, I do want a relationship. I really do. 
And But the only way for me to get a relationship is for me to come out of my shell, to come out of hiding, and not work so much, not put so much work and effort into everything but love. You know, it's time for me to start working again on love. So I feel like somebody is deciding perhaps to make a change, you know, after making some poor decisions. Somebody has made some poor decisions in regards to, you know, burying their feelings. You know? Afraid to let anybody step into their space. Blocking anybody from stepping into their space. Maybe setting their intentions so high, not, not their intentions, their expectations. Setting their expectations so high that nobody could possibly meet them. That's a protection tactic, right? It is. But somebody has taught, has reflected. It's like they've taken a time of reflection. Or they're about to come up with a new plan, a new idea, a new thought, and it's going to come like instantly. It's going to be like a, a jolt, a, a lightning, a, a lightning, a strike. You know what I mean? It's like all of a sudden there's this uh, bolt of lightning that wakes them up. Interesting. Now, this King of Wands reverse, this is a person that is unreasonable. The expectations have been set too high. Next to the Queen of Wands, Pentacles reversed, both unreasonable. Stubborn. It's like there's an opportunity for these two people to work together, but they're not working together because they're both so, so stubborn. They're both being unreasonable. It's like neither one of these people want to put in any effort because they're focusing on everything but love, but they know they want love. Deep down, they want love, but to protect themselves, they have to pretend that they don't. Whatever. There's an opportunity for victory and success. I'm going to put this right here between two people. A man and a woman. Or a masculine and a feminine. But it like, it's like they want this relationship, but nobody wants to put in any work. So there's an opportunity for two people to work together. But both of these people are stubborn and self-centered. Both of them. Now, this is a card of respect and recognition. Somebody is going to recognize something. I mean, this is recognition. People are recognizing this person. And maybe that's what this is about. It's all about success, right? Maybe this is what this is about. All I want is for people to recognize how successful I am. I think we have somebody here that is recognizing that they do want a relationship and that it could be successful. If they could put in more effort. There's an opportunity for a new spark. For a new beginning here. For, for growth. 
there's an opportunity for a partnership between two people who aren't seeing it really right now. It's like they're not seeing it because they're not focused. They're not focused. They're not focused on love right now when there's and these people are kind of like it looks to me like these people may be destined to be together it's like the, this is like to me the ace of wands is always the hand of god that is saying okay here's your here's your new flame here's your your new passionate opportunity But you got to look at things differently. This is also a new vision. And somebody is going to get a new vision. It's going to happen. Like it's going to be all of a sudden. It's going to be like a boom. Wake up call. This is a new vision. And, and maybe you got to take a new approach. Somebody is going to see things differently. And they're going to start to recognize. That this person might be my hero. interesting because this is a hero he's a leader he led the troops and now he's being recognized so somebody is going to be recognized for who they are Oh, there is. There's a new opportunity here. There's a new opportunity with somebody that is really perfect for you, as far as I can see. But all you have to do is recognize. You have to recognize this person's valor, right? You've got to recognize what this person is worth. You need to recognize who this person really is. You've got you to gotta see the light. I don't know. This is somebody that, you know, you may be, you're just, somebody is distracted by their work, not, not seriously, distracted by their work, not noticing that there's somebody that is watching them. There's somebody that is watching them that, you know, may want to have a relationship with them, but They may not have the backbone to make a move or something like that. They may think that you're too busy. They may think that you're not interested in love. Maybe that's the aura or the vibration that you put out there. And maybe that's why this, this time of you know introspection, whatever, this change, this seeing the light maybe you maybe you need to broaden your horizons and put yourself out there and and change your vibration come out of hermit mode come down off of that mountain and show your face anyway it looks to me like somebody is going to get a creative boost of energy that is going to wake them up in some way that stops them from avoiding love. It's like, no, I'm not going to avoid it anymore. I'm, I'm coming out of this. I don't want to be lonely anymore. It's time. It's time. I think somebody is about to take a brand new approach after being hurt and protecting themselves. I think somebody has been waiting for this person to come out of their hermit mode. Somebody's been watching. Somebody's been waiting for this person to come out of this healing period it's like they knew this person had some healing to do and now it's like yeah I think that it's time for me to make this passionate offer so I think that there could be some sort of
progress that is made in regards to a new beginning after somebody has shut it down for so long it's like now I see this person is healed I see this person is ready and I'm gonna I'm gonna come be the hero I'm gonna I wreck I'm gonna be the hero I am gonna be the hero that's why I keep seeing a hero no longer even gonna sit in his chair it's like I'm gonna it's time for me to get up and make a move get on my horse and go 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 make this offer so I really feel like somebody is deciding to take a new approach after being in a place of introspection, you know, a place of hiding. This, 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 this place of hiding, this was needed to happen so that they could heal and that the other person could heal. I think both of these people had to go th through some sort of healing process. And, you know, maybe they needed to rebuild their inner foundation and work on their own insecurities before they could come together. But now there's going to be some sort of, uh, well, lightning bolt, like I said, that wakes them up. It's like lightning. It's like all of a sudden it's like, you know, it's like that. It's like a bolt of electricity it's like all of a sudden it's like zzz, zzz, you know that kind of thing You're like okay this is what I want this is what I want I gotta I'm going I'm going I'm gonna I'm just gonna do it I'm just gonna do it I'm just gonna I'm gonna take the lead and I'm gonna go after what I want so somebody has been watching another person and I think they have they're gonna receive some sort of electrical charge that wakes them up and sends them on their way towards a passionate new beginning. All of a sudden they get this vision or this idea, this, this, whatever it is, it's this poke that says, go for it. Just go for it. This is a perfect match. So yeah, I feel like we have <laughs> somebody that's going to go for the gold. They're going to go and they're, be they're being offered a golden opportunity, right? And somebody is seeing a golden opportunity. It's a big one. It's beautiful. It's an opportunity for security and stability, and I want it. I want it. I want it. So somebody is about to go after the gold, after being scared to do so, out of self-protection, right? Now they got this new solid vision, this new... This new idea, this new uh, electrical charge that says, go get it. It's your golden opportunity, and I think that somebody's going to do it. So I think that somebody is going to uh, recognize another person's, that it's time. They're going to recognize that they want a relationship, that they want love, you know, that they need to come out of this lonely period, and that they want to have a passionate new beginning with somebody. They want this new partnership. This appears to be somebody brand new. That's a new opportunity. Brand new. This is brand new. This ain't old. It's not damaged. It's not scratched. It's a brand new opportunity. Okay. Somebody is seeing a brand new opportunity and it looks like they're going to get it. So this is not somebody from your past. This is somebody brand new. That is going to help you to heal from your broken heart. They have been watching. That you, you probably do know this person. I think you probably do. I think this person has been watching you. And they've been going through something and you've been going through something. And they, you know didn't feel secure enough or they felt that you weren't secure enough or whatever the case is. 
but it looks like now they're going to, you know, use their imagination and they're going to listen to what they, their thoughts, because that's what imagination is, your thoughts. And they're going to take the lead because they want victory and success. In, in love. So somebody is about to make a bold move. A bold move. That's what I see. I mean, that is what I see. I don't feel the need to go any further. Somebody is, is accepting a new opportunity or they're making an offer for something solid and stable. Either somebody is going to receive the offer or they're going to make the offer, okay? And I think it's going to be accepted. I do. It's such a golden opportunity that I think it's going to be accepted. I think this person is ready. This person, this person is ready to stop avoiding A new life. I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Somebody is ready and they're about to stop wasting their time. Stop sacrificing themselves being alone. It's like I've been alone. I don't want to be alone anymore. That's what's going on here. Somebody has decided that they don't want to be alone. And they're going to use their imagination and they're going to go get what they want. That's what I see. So I do feel like there's there, there may be some sort of communication or even a rival. It's like this person may even show up on your doorstep. It's something you manifested through healing it is this time of healing this time of loneliness you know your thoughts become things that's what imagination is so somebody has manifested a new beginning and it's coming it's here somebody is coming to the rescue and this is a warrior it's a warrior we got a warrior coming to the save the day This is somebody who knows you. They Well, they've been watching you, put it that way. They know of you or something, and they know you. They've been watching you, and they're ready. They're ready to come down and make their offer. So that's what I see. That's what I have January 15th. Good luck.